The NC520 NetCat Pro 2 kit is ideal for CATV technicians, network cable installers, electricians, and IT technicians. It allows quick and reliable testing of existing or new coaxial and LAN cables, measuring length, spotting common problems, and identifying remote sockets. Plus, it will show Ethernet device types and presence of power over Ethernet. Hi, I'm David Lopez with Greenlee Communications Technical Support, and today we're going to talk about the NC520 NetCat Pro 2 kit. Let's take a look at the contents of the NC520 kit. NC500 instruction manual, a 9 volt battery, two F to BNC adapters, an F to F barrel adapter, male F to male F patch cable, an RJ45 to alligator clip adapter, an RJ45 to RJ45 patch cable, the NC500 test unit itself, also within the kit, there are eight office identifiers, seven that are stored here in the soft case, and the number one identifier is stored in the bottom of the NC500 itself. First thing that needs to be done is to install the battery in the unit. Next, install the F-barrel connector on the top of the unit. To power the NC500 on, press and hold the black button on the front until you hear a beep. The first screen to appear after initial startup is screen calibration. Remove the stylus from the back of the unit and tap the targets until complete. Next we'll select the functioning language for the unit. We have English, French, German, and Spanish. Press the check mark when you've selected the language you want. Now the unit needs to go through a zero length calibration. Make sure there's no cables connected to the unit either at the bottom or at the top and press the check mark. Next you would clear the NVP user data at first initial startup. You want to select the check mark and clear any data that's in the, in the unit. The unit is now ready to use for test. The NC520 kit is also capable of identifying multiple cable runs by using the office identifiers. For this demonstration, we are going to use this cable demonstration platform. There are four coax cables that are terminated here that then run through the bottom of the test platform and come out here. The cables are not identified. We will identify ports 1, 2, 3, and 4 using the NC500 test unit. First, we need to put the office identifiers onto their respective ports. For port one, the office identifier number one is located in the bottom of the NC500. We will also need to use the coax jumper cable that's located in the kit, apply it to one end of office identifier one, and plug it in to port one. Each of the office identifiers has a small number located on the top. Put that number into its corresponding port. This one is number two, which I'll put it in number two. Number three, and finally number four. We're going to turn on the NC500. We'll connect the cable to the coax connector at the top of the unit. To initiate a test, you want to press with the stylus on the one pair coax test button. This cable corresponds with ID3, so this is cable run number three. You can then proceed to disconnect this cable, connect the other cables, and each of the IDs will be noted here to the right of this cable symbol. The NC520 kit is also capable of measuring the length of both terminated and unterminated coax cables and data cables. To measure the length of a terminated coax cable, first connect the cable to the top of the unit. Verify that the correct velocity of propagation is set on the unit. The VOP of this particular cable is 81. It is selected at 81. Go back to the main menu. Select the one pair coax test. The length of this cable is 90 feet. To measure the length of an unterminated coax cable, you will need to use the red and black alligator clip test lead. 
put it into the, the RJ45 port located in the top. Connect the black lead to the shield of an unterminated coax cable. The red lead to the center conductor. Verify that the NVP is correct. For this cable, the NVP is also 81, so it is correct. Tap back out to the main menu. Select the one pair coax test. The length of this spool of cable on this unterminated is 211 feet. To measure the length of an unterminated network cable, similar to the unterminated coax cable, we need to use the red and black alligator clip test lead. Insert it into the RJ45 port in the top of the unit. You will need to strip back the jacket on your unterminated cable. Select one of the wire pairs. I have selected the blue and the blue-white pair from this cable. Strip the insulation off of the two conductors of the wire pair. Connect the red and the black leads to the wire pair. Touch the recycle button. The length of this cable is 657 feet. Similar to coax cables, the NC520 kit can also identify individual runs of network cable. It does this also by using the office identifiers. Instead of plugging in the coax end, we will plug in the RJ45 end of the identifier. And as previously noted with coax cables, each one of the identifiers has its own unique number. We'll plug the office identifiers into the ports noting which number is being plugged in. We'll then go to the patch panel and plug into each individual port to determine where it is terminated at the jacks. We'll now take the NC500 and plug it in to the various ports on the patch panel To initiate the test, use the RJ45 network patch cable, plug it into the patch panel port, and then select multi-pair test. The diagram is displayed showing if there is proper termination of the individual wire pairs in the cable. In this particular instance, four and five are open but it is connected. This particular cable corresponds to ID number five down at the jacks. To perform the next test, go to the next port on the patch panel and just tap on the recycle button. This cable is terminated correctly and is associated and connected to ID number three. A specific cable run can also be identified with the NC500 by using tracing tone. To use tracing tone, you would first plug the unit in to a jack using the network patch cable, and then select the tracing tone function. The tone is already active, but at this point you can select four different types of tones. Number four makes this sound and press the speaker icon to audition the sound, tone 3, tone 2, and tone 1. You can also select how you want to transmit the tone. You can select, transmit it on all conductors, on pair 1, on conductors 1 and 2, conductors 3 and 6, 4 and 5, or 7 and 8. To locate where the cable is terminated at the patch panel, you simply use a regular tone probe. For today's demonstration, we will be using a Greenlee Communications 200EP-G. Cable is terminated into port 2. The NC500 test unit is able to detect where a network device is plugged in to either a hub or a switch. To initiate the test, plug the NC500 
into the port and press the multi-pair test switch. This network cable is active. There is active data coming through this port. The unit can transmit and receive both in 10 base T, 100 base T, 100 base T, 4 wire, and 1000 base T gigabit. It's also reflecting that there is power over Ethernet present on this network with voltage present on conductors 1 and 2 and conductors 3 and 6. The symbol over here that slowly blinks, each time this light blinks, it is blinking the network activity port on the switch. This port is blinking once every 3 seconds. This is the port that's being tested by the NC500. If you need any additional information, feel free to visit our website at greenleycommunications.com or call tech support at 1-800-642-2155 and select option 2. Thanks for watching.